Let's have a look how the space shuttle lands. Entry. The entry starts with the deorbit burn, where the shuttle flips around and fires its engines against its direction of motion. With this, it enters Earth's atmosphere at a speed of approximately 17,000 miles per hour. During this phase, the shuttle's heat shield protects it from the extreme heat generated by the friction of the atmosphere. Descent. Once the shuttle has slowed down to about Mach 3, it begins its descent toward the landing site. The shuttle uses its engines and aerodynamic surfaces to control its speed and trajectory. Approach and landing. As the shuttle gets closer to the landing site, it begins a series of S-turns to slow down and lose altitude. The pilot then lines up the shuttle with the runway and makes a final descent. The landing gear is deployed and the shuttle touches down on the runway at a speed of about 200 miles per hour. Rollout. After the space shuttle touches down on the runway, it relies on a combination of braking systems to slow down and bring it to a stop. These systems include a drag chute, which is deployed from the back of the shuttle to create drag and reduce the speed of the shuttle. In addition, the shuttle has wheel brakes, which are used to slow down the shuttle once it has slowed to a certain speed. Post-landing operations. After the shuttle has come to a stop, the crew goes through a series of procedures to shut down the shuttle's systems and prepare it for post-flight inspections and maintenance. The crew then exits the shuttle and is welcomed back to Earth. For more quick science quirks, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.